Assalamualaikum and a very um, good day to all of you. So for today, um, I will explain about Lab 11, which is implementing a uh, port security. So this is the topology for today. Um, so what we have here is uh, we have um, a simple network, um, 192.168.1.0 side 24 network, and uh, we have three PCs and one server. PC1 is connected to port FA01. Um, PC2 is connected to port FA02 on the switch and the server is connected to um, port FA03 on the switch. So uh, what you have to do is you need to um, implement uh, the topology in the packet tracer and uh, please um, input the IPv4 address and the subnet mask for PC1 and PC2, uh, the road PC and also the server. You don't need to input the default gateway because this is um, a simple LAN. Alright. So um, in this lab, what we're going to do is first we will configure port security and second we will verify port security configuration. So the first part of the lab is I will um, show how can you configure uh, basic port security on all ports connected to host device. So <clears throat> there are three main ports that we will use today which is a port FA01 until um, three. So as um, I have mentioned in the lab, um, if you are going to configure um, port security, so you have to make sure that um, the configuration of port security is made on access port, not on a trunk port. Okay, so that's what we're going to do first. Um, I will change the host name to S1 and I will um, go to interface range FA01 um, until 3 and I will set all of the port as a switch port. If you have a prior to this configuration, you have uh, already uh, configured the port as uh, access port, so these um, steps uh, can be skipped. So um, next, what we're going to do is we will uh, enable port security on the interface. So the command is switch port port security security. So if you just press that. So the command is there, switch port, port security. So there are a few parameters or few things that I will set um, uh, for the port security. Uh, first, I will try to limit number of learned MAC address on each port. So for the um, ease of um, demonstration, um, when we want to verify the configuration, so I think it will be easy if I set it to um, 1, but you can set to 2 or 3 according to your needs. Okay, so first I will... Um, set the maximum um, the maximum um, number of the learn MAC address to one all right so that's what we're going to do first um, so um, violation will happen if um, the switch detects that there are more than one MAC address to be learned on that particular part and then um, the second part is we want to allow MAC address to be uh, learned in various ways. So we know that uh, you can um, set the uh, MAC address to be learned dynamically or statically. There are two ways. So uh, for us to allow um, MAC address to be learned dynamically, so we should uh, opt for uh, MAC address sticky. Yeah? So uh, the command is Um, so for MAC address sticky, um, the uh, um, configuration is only done for uh, the switch port that is connected to PC1 and PC2. For the server, we will assign or allow MAC address to be learned statically, statically. So um, because um, it's the server, so server supposed uh, to be uh, the address of the server uh, supposed to be learned statically instead of dynamically. So I will do um, the dynamic um, MAC address um, configuration on port uh, FA01 and 2. 
So we use interface range command and then assign switch port uh, port security. So if you uh, um, check the options there, so there's a MAC address option. So you can just uh, use that and if you um, ask for um, another help, so it will show that there are two ways. Uh, the first way is um, you are assigning or you are inputting the 48-bit MAC address uh, for static MAC address learning and um, you can choose the second option which is uh, Configure Dynamic Secure Address STK. So what we're going to do for um, this part FA01 and FA02, we will use the sticky option. For the server, I would like to allow the methods to be learned statically. So currently, we already limit maximum number of MAC address to one. So note that if you configure, uh, if like for example, you limit the maximum number of MAC address to three, for example, but you only configure only one uh, static MAC address, so the remaining MAC address will be dynamically learned, right? So uh, before we uh, configure the static uh, MAC address on the port, so we have to first find what are the MAC address for that particular server. So what you can do is you just uh, go to the server and then go to the command prompt and just start IP config all. And you can see um, here this the physical address uh, of your server. So you right click and uh, press copy. Alright, so now we are going to do um, static MAC address assignment for um, fast Ethernet 03. So we need to go to the to that particular interface FA03 and then switch port port security and then MAC address and paste the MAC address that you have copied earlier on enter alright so now we already um, configure the static MAC address uh, learning for the server the next step uh, that I want to do is I would like to uh, set the violation mode on each switch port so as we know, we have a few violation mode, which is shutdown, restrict, and also protect. But for today's lab, I will show the differences between the shutdown and also the restrict violation mode. Um, so on the shutdown violation mode, um, the way we are doing it is um, we, I will set the violation mode for the switch port connected to PC1 and the server. And for PC2, I will set the violation mode to restrict. So now I will show how can we configure it. So um, we'll go to FA01 and then switch port, uh, port security. And then if you type violation and ask for help, you can see there's a few options there. So we can uh, um, we can have a protect, restrict, or shutdown, right? So the difference between protect and restrict is uh, for restrict uh, there will be a notification that violation has happened, um, but for protect um, there will be no um, a notification that violation has happened. But on both uh, mode, on both violation mode, um, the packet will be discarded uh, and the port will not be shut down. Okay, so for the first part for interface F01, I will um, show the shutdown violation mode. Uh, the same goes to port FA03. I will also use um, the shutdown violation mode. Uh, but note that um, I just use the arrow up to repeat the uh, configuration that I have made earlier on. And now for interface F. FA02, uh, I will configure the port violation mode as a restrict violation. Okay, 
so um, that's all for the configuration part so after you have done all of the configuration what you need to do is you need to save your configuration by issuing the command copy run start Um, the verification part will be the verification part will be shown um, in the next video. Thank you.